Previously on the FIFA 23 Hearts career mode. What the fuck? He's given a penalty? He's given. What the fuck, guys? This is an absolute joke. They've given a. The game is literally glitched. What the fuck? This is a screw job. I make a, t I make a tackle here. What the fuck? I make a tackle here. And they, they get a penalty. You talk about. Oh man, you talk about fucking incompetent referees. This ain't incompetent. This is 100% pure retard fucking nation. What the fuck? Yeah, it's not a great tackle. Arguably, we win the ball though. Arguably, we get the ball, but the referee says no, he gives a penalty. But here, what? How? On what fucking planet, man? We win the ball. That is an absolute fucking disgrace, man. And this is a. You thought EA fixed it? Was, oh, and Craig Gordon. It doesn't even let Craig Gordon save it. It looked like Craig Gordon was about to save it and they just gave the ball. What the fuck's this? What is that? The ball's glitching out. The game's glitching out. It's an absolute disgrace. And we're 1 0 doing it to Anadice. Alright, guys. I am the son of Scotland 90 and welcome back to the FIFA 23. Hearts career mode. You've seen from the intro there, last time out, I wasn't too happy. One of the worst refereeing decisions ever happened in the last game, and it went against us. There is nothing I could have done to prevent that, apart from maybe lock the bitch in the kitchen and throw away the key. What else could I have done? I literally made a tackle, a good tackle, mind you, outside the box, about fucking six, seven, eight yards outside the box, and she somehow gave a penalty it was pure corruption at its finest and it meant that we ended up losing that game it pissed me off i haven't played fifa in a few days but we can't lay down we can't give up we need to respond we need to come out firing we need to start climbing the league table now we're not in that bad of a situation we're sitting in seventh which is higher than we were last year but we should be higher i mean we should have beat dundee united we were robbed we could have easily been sitting in second place but as things stand, we're not. We're sitting in 7th, just outside the uh, the top 6. But that's the aim for this episode. I want to get inside the top 6. So I'm hoping we can get two big wins today. Up first it is St Mirren. We welcome them to Tynecastle. And then it's an away trip to Ayrshire to take on Kelly, who at the moment are two points ahead here. So I'm hoping by the time we finish this episode, we are at least a point ahead of Kelly, but you can see it is pretty close apart for Rangers who are just like completely steamrolling the rest of the league at the moment Maybe they've got no dodgy female referees in their games. They probably do. They're probably wearing fucking Rangers shirts Penalty to Rangers because I mean how was how that penalty done the United? I don't want to keep talking about it, but it, it really pissed me fucking off man It did and that's why you've seen no FIFA hearts career mode for a few days, but I'm gonna put it behind me cooler heads prevail I've calmed down a bit since then. I'm ready to kick some ass. Let's get into today's first game. Let's do it. Before we get into the game, though, I must uh, there must have been some sort of like update for FIFA, EA, that brought out what looks like new player faces. I don't remember seeing half of these guys in the, <laughs> the last time. I know it's been a few days since I played, but, I mean, come on. A lot of these faces are new. I mean, I'm sure quite a few of these people didn't even have faces. They were faceless the last time we... Seen them, but yeah, they've got faces now. Hopefully, they've got fucking goals in them as well, though. That is the main thing. As for how we're going to line up, it's going to be Gordon, Cochrane, Rose, Halkett, Atkinson, Benenjim, Devlin, Grant, and I'm going with Humphreys out on the left. I think he's been pretty good since we brought him in. We're going to give him another chance over Barry McKay, Janelli on the right, and of course, Lawrence Shankland. Oh no, Halkett slid in there. He hasn't made that tackle. Ball out wide now, Atkinson slides in from behind and he's brought him down. Why? Now, Faneuil Atkinson, why? Fucking hell, man. I could have seen for Australia that tackle was near on. And he's, he's just, ah, oh, he's two foot on from behind. Fuck me. Hope this guy gets shagged by a kangaroo tonight, man. I can't even ask for this. Less than five minutes in, we've gave a penalty away to St Mirren. Come on, Craig Gordon, please. You've saved us a lot of times. Not today. Not tonight. Craig Gordon's no happy. Neither am I. No one's happy. The Hearts fans are fucking fuming. Chance to go into the top six. And at the moment, we're cementing ourselves in the bottom, man. The bottom six. It's just not good enough. St. Mirren celebrate. We need to respond. Not a great start. 1-0 to the Saints. They ball it to Halkett. Come on. I don't know why Halkett's this far up, but we'll take it. We need someone to get with him, though. Try to... Oh, my Christ. <laughs> He's actually found Cochrane. Great ball. 
in towards Grant. He spins around and he puts it away. George Grant. Jesus Christ. How has he not scored that? George Grant. Just he's not even close looking at it. That guy with the camera better duck. Or he's about to get a broken fucking lens in a minute. But yeah, George Grant should do better there. Shankland, Grant, right, come on, Grant, back to Shankland, Shankland, back to Grant, George Grant, come on, looking for some, oh my Christ, man, fucking plays it back the way, and finds a St Mirren player, what's the point of that, right, Rolls wins it back, come on, Cochrane, up to Humphreys, Shankland, lays it off to Cochrane, Cochrane now, picks it up, trickery, with his feet, finds it, Cammy Devlin, Devlin to Shankland, back to Cammy Devlin, oh, Devlin's in the box, and he, Oh, he's lost it there. Oh, yes, Ginelli gets past him. It's Atkinson. Chance now, surely. It's Atkinson. He leaves it off to Grant. Grant! Yes, come on! Back level. 1 1. George Grant took his time. I thought he was fucking waiting on a bus there, but no. He was waiting on an opportunity. He was waiting on an angle. He was not waiting on a bit of space and opening. And he took it when it came. Finished it. 1 1. Hearts right back in it, goalkeeper looking bemused, and I don't really blame him because he didn't see it coming, he thought, what's George Grant doing? Why is George Grant waiting? That's why he's waiting. Boom, left foot, right into the corner. George Grant, what a guy. Might have missed a sitter ten minutes ago, but he's made up for it there. Ginelli inside, picks it, Shankland, Shankland, to Devlin, Devlin. Now, at the Cochrane, Cochrane's going to try and cross a ball in, and it's not a great one, but Ginelli will chase it. He won't be able to win it, though. And St Mirren survive for now. Shit. Oh, come on, Craig Gordon. Why is he just standing there, man? Seriously. I get it, the defending's poor, but, I mean, Craig Gordon has to make a better attempt at saving the ball than he did there. Simply not good enough. St Mirren regain their lead. And once again, we've got it all to do. Devlin up to Grant. Back to Cammy Devlin. Devlin now needs to make something happen. I'm going to try and look for Ginelli. We do. Ginelli spins around, turns in, finds Nathaniel Atkinson, who gets a cross in, and it's straight into the hands of Jurminski, man. Not good enough there for the right back. Shankland, though, tracks back, wins it. Good stuff. That's what I want to see. Commitment for the players. Right. Shankland. Oh! Atkinson's coming off. That's fucking mincemeat, but we'll win it back again. This time it's Shankland once more. Shankland at the Humphreys. Humphreys. Lays it off to Cochrane. Cochrane in towards Grant. Cochrane gets it back. He strikes it again. It's Cochrane. Oh my god, it's taking ping pong lessons here in the box. It's Benjamin out to Atkinson again. Atkinson looking for a cross. Wins a corner. What do we have to do? Score here. Half an hour remaining. Alright, here we go. I'm not waiting any longer. Mackay, Boyce, and Forrest are coming on. Atkinson, Cochrane, and Grant are going off. We're playing five up front. We're going for it. We ain't hanging about here. We need the win. We need three points. Let's go. Delivery from Barry Mackay needs to be good. It's lofted into the air. Oh, it was almost won there by Lauren Shankland. It will fall for rolls. Let's play it back at the Barry Mackay. Mackay back in. Cross. Oh, man. Humphreys was there, but he couldn't get on it. Boys to Shankland to Humphreys. We're getting men forward here. We're getting bodies forward. Maroon bodies. Now it's Forrest. Still Forrest. Forrest now at the byline. Crosses it in. It's going to fall. Oh, why is Humphreys ducking? Why is he afraid of the ball? It's not fucking dodgeball, mate. It's football. Should be head on that. Humphreys needs to spin around. Needs to get a shot away. He does. Oh, my God, Stephen Humphreys. It's no fucking dodgeball. And you want to dodge that one because if that connects with you, it could fucking kill you. It's a lethal strike by Stephen Humphreys. I'll never tell him how to play football again. What a guy. What a strike. What a beautiful man. People said we shouldn't have signed him in January. Well, I tell you what, or, or summer, I don't know, whatever window it was. Fuck it, it doesn't matter. To us, that's a great strike for Stephen Humphreys. Goalkeeper, nowhere near it. Oh my God, right foot slices it right into the top bins, man. I could watch that a million times a day, but no time, because we need to go and get a winner. Oh, we've got it back. It's Forrest. Alan Forrest. Oh my God, that's horrendous for Alan Forrest. Technically, I think we were getting pulled back. I'm surprised we did not see a foul come in there for the referee. Maybe we've got that other dodgy female referee again. I don't know, but I think that should have been a free kick to us. Wasn't given, and St Mirren survived one there, in my opinion. They got away with it. Ball up to Brophy. Now, Brophy against Rolls. 
It's in, oh my god, we've been done in there. Craig Halkett, son, why? Why? That's twice now. We've pegged St. Mirren back, and it's twice. We've been, well, three times we've been shite at the back. I mean, look at this. Halkett, oh my god. I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to look at that one again. He's been done dirty there. I don't want to. My eyes need fucking clenched. They need to uh, rinse it with bleach after that, man. That was... I mean, I love Craig Halkett. Big fan, but that's not as proud as moment. Shankland, come on. We need to get back here straight away. Can we respond? It's Shankland to Humphreys. Boys, come on, boys. Do something. It's Devlin. Can we Devlin into the box? Oh, dangerous chance, but no. It's a mirror now. They've got a four-on-two attack. You have to go for it. Oh my god, Hump what's Halk it Dane? What the fuck is Halk it Dane? Oh man, it's through! It's 4 2. We've been absolutely horrible at the back. This is embarrassing. We're going to bring on Keo now. 13 minutes to go. St. Murren have a two goal lead. We went for it five up front, but we've left ourselves completely open at the back. Boys, to Shankland. Shankland now to Humphreys. Back to Shankland. It's Forrest. Lays it off to Keo, the substitute, and we're right back in it. Keo halves the deficit. We're now only one goal behind. That was good play, and it didn't take us long to get back, at least one goal back. With eight minutes now to try and find an equaliser. Can we do it? Hopefully, we get more of this quick attacking, passing, and we'll give ourselves a chance. But Keo, the super subs, came on, and he's delivered the goods. It's 4 3. Come on, boys. Boys looking for Forrest again. Forrest brings it down. We win a throw in with four minutes remaining. We need something to happen here. Humphrey spins around, finds Keo. It's Shanklin. Shanklin now. It's been backed off. It's Devlin. Devlin through to William Boyce. Oh, and William Boyce has done it. It's 4 4. We're back in the game. We're back securing a point, and we've left ourselves three, four, maybe even five minutes. If there's extra time, that's good to us to try and get a winner. St Mirren can't believe it, it's an 8 goal thriller, but I'm just hoping the goals aren't done yet. I've seen Liam Boyce try to get away from his, the, oh and it's actually cracked the goalkeeper in the coupon, it's knocked him out. Fucking glass chin. He's been smashed like David Price man, it's hit him right in the chin and he's he's been decked. <laughs> then it goes into the back of the net, Liam Boyce doesn't care how it went in, he's happy that he's got as an equaliser. But is there anybody in a maroon shot that can get us a winner? We'll run out of time. I oh, want it back, Keo. Come on. Come on, Keo. Come on, Keo. Forrest. Oh, for that's a foul. He never got. Oh, no! Are you shitting me, man. Are you fucking shitting. That's a freak. That's a fucking joke, man. And now it's St. Mirren. They're through. They're going to try and make it 5 4. It's, it's laid off. Unfucking believable. St. Mirren have done it and we've been robbed again. It's a fucking screw job. I don't care who scores. I, I couldn't give a shit. What I care about is the replay. That is absolute cheating at its finest. How the fuck is this not a free kick? I mean, he completely take, he takes us down and he, he, he fucking gives us one up the ass as well. Look at that, man. Boom. That doesn't look right. Looks like rape on the football pitch, but apparently that, that's, no, that's no a foul, man. How the hell? And I know you can argue he gets the ball, but, I mean, come on. He, he gets more of the man than anything else. That's not right. That's 100% that's wrong there. Uh, we've been wiped out big time, and St Mirren have been allowed to go on and score a fight. That's a joke, man. It's a joke. And that's it. It's all over. At Tyne Castle, we've lost by four goals to five. We came back, and then go thriller. We produced comeback after comeback. 4-2 down. We looked beat. We weren't having it. We didn't give up. We came back. But look at that. Ten shots to six, and the six shots somehow win. It's not fair. It's definitely not. I mean, I don't care if you got a bit of the ball... How many times in football do you actually see someone get the ball, but oh, it's deemed a dangerous tackle, and, and they just send you off? Well, how's that not deemed a dangerous tackle? He's humped my guy up the fucking ass from behind. I mean, for that, he should have got 10 red cards, but no, we get nothing. It's just not fair, guys. It is not fair at all, and that result will now see us slip even further down the league table. We don't deserve it. It wasn't fair. It wasn't right. And what can we do? We just have to hope that next game we actually get a referee that isn't a cheating bastard and a referee that can make the right decisions because that certainly was not on. And that result then does see us drop down the table. We actually have to scroll down now to see where we are. That is always a bad sign. So we're sitting in ninth place, nine points. 
There is a bunch of teams ahead of us that have played an extra game, though. So if we can win against Kelly, we can potentially go as high as maybe top six. You know, depends on how much we beat Kelly. We could even go as high as fifth, but we need to win. We need to respond. It's been a couple of bad games in a row. Back-to-back -back defeats. We need to put that to an end here. All right, then. Let's go. We're in air. We're ready to take on Kilmarnock. We've had a two-week break in the Scottish Premiership. All the players are fit. Everyone is 100% and ready to go. The one thing I have noticed is though, last year we had European competition, the players were always tired, fatigued, I had to rotate them and I felt like we didn't get to play with our best 11 often enough. But this year, with no European competition, the players aren't really getting rotated and not everyone's happy because not everyone is getting game time. So it is a dilemma, it is a bit of a catch-22 situation and I feel like we need to solve it. I feel like we need to be in Europe next season to keep the squad happy or else we really could have to lose about five or six players. But I know one way to make the team happy, that's to start fucking winning and start moving up the league table. So let's go, let's do it, let's beat Kelly and get the three points that will hopefully Put us into the top six. Ginelli, Benjamin. Ben oh, where's Benjamin going with that pass, man? Shite. Slides in, though, wins it back. Brilliant stuff. Josh Ginelli now flicks it up. Oh, George Grant was there. Couldn't bring it down, though. And Kelly will deal with it. Good challenge for Cochrane on Lafferty. Benjamin now first to pick it up. Goes outside to Ginelli. Ginelli here. Gets the ball trapped underneath his foot, but comes away with it still. Now it's to Devlin. Devlin lays it off to Cochrane. Cochrane is going to try and find Shanklin. Shanklin, it back to Devlin. Devlin flicks it up. It's back to Benjamin. Benjamin now out to Atkinson. Atkinson back to Benjamin. It is Cammy Devlin. Space is opened up, but the shot is blocked by Ash Taylor. And again, there's another chance it comes to nothing. And it's Halkett. Look at that. Halkett's like... You might be seven foot and you might play the flute, but you ain't playing fucking me. Halkett steps in. Great tackle for him on Lafferty. But Lafferty wins it back. What are we doing? Seven foot is big lanky legs. Oh, but that's a great block. Great challenge. Great interception. And now Hart's on the attack again. Here we go. Back and forth game here. It's Cammy D. Cammy D. Oh, Cammy D's pass to Shankland there was fucking horrendous. And now it's Kilmarnock again. Halkett and Lafferty again this time. Halkett picks up, I mean, Lafferty picks it up, and it's, oh, it's Craig, Craig Halkett, man, solid as a rock at the back. Oh, great save by Craig Gordon, he's seen it late, it was a power strike, and we're game, we're seeing a replay here, Craig Gordon doing some tricks on the goal line, and almost put the ball in the back of his own net, so thankfully Craig Gordon, whether it's with his feet or with his hands, he's keeping the ball at the back of the net at the moment, but he fucking, no one goes near him. Why is Kel Lafferty, why is that big lanky bastard free in the six yard box? And why is no one putting a tackle in? Halkett, Gordon, both just look at him in awe and amazement as he heads the ball into the back of the net. Joke. Fucking joke. Should he be playing anyway? Sectarianism, get him banned. Ten matches, ban him for ten years. Give us ten goals while you're at it. Kelly have a one nil lead. Here we go, George Grant. It's Granty boy. He spins around. He plays in. Cammy Devlin. Devlin to Benjamin. Benjamin to Ginelli. Oh, Ginelli just runs into danger again. Oh, but want it back though. Josh Ginelli. Oh, still Ginelli. Gets past a lot of men looking for the cross in. It's Mackay at the back post, but it's gone. Okay, George Grant. Looking for Shankland. Oh, and it's fucking Ash. It's Ash Taylor from behind. Creeped up on us. And took the ball away for us before we even had an opportunity to respond. Right, it's Grant again. Grant spins around town. Oh, Grant! Great ball in! Cammy Devlin's shot save. I don't think Devlin connected it the way he wanted to, but the goalkeeper, regardless, made a stop. Was it going in or not? We won't know. I think it's going wide, actually, so we've got a free corner then out of this. Chance, though, for Stephen Kingsley. Good delivery, necessary. And that's a great ball, but no one goes for it. George Grant. George Grant! Ah, sliced and diced it wide. Referee, though, I think gives a free kick. And we all know, I don't know what third like, but we all know what Stephen Kingsley can do with these. Stephen Kingsley, come on. He can score these bad boys. We know he can. Oh, and he has Stephen Kingsley! That's what we're talking about. The guy is fucking lethal. That left foot is amazing. I want to go into a museum one day and just see it sparkling, shining at 
Give me some polish and I'll shine it up as well. It is Hearts 1, Kilmarnock 1, and it's Stephen Kingsley's left foot that scores us yet another free kick here. The Atkinson is Ginelli, spins around, Ginelli. Oh, Shankland wins it back. Good stuff. Lays it off to Grant. George Grant outside the boot. Straight at the goalkeeper, though. Oh, good. Nice one, too. It's Cochrane. He's going to cut it back to Shankland. Shankland spins around. Shankland looks for support. He hasn't really got much, but he plays it to Atkinson. Atkinson now trying to find Grant. Grant flicks it into the path. He brings it down. He goes for the connection, and he kicks Finnell. Fucking mess there. A great chance for George Grant. He just couldn't strike the ball. Oh no! Speaking of great chance, only shows through. Can we get men back? He's going to try and find Kel Lafferty. Horrible touch for Lafferty. Plays it to Polworth. Chance could be gone. Stephen Kingsley steps in. Lafferty, strike, saved. No! Referee gives a penalty. And for what? For what to give the penalty, man? Alex Cochrane. We'll get a booking. I need to see this again. Oh, come on, man. We'll fucking slide into blood. The guy had already lost the ball. Our tackle had no input on what happened there. That's a joke. Kyle Lafferty now going for a brace. Can Craig Gordon save the day, please? Craig Gordon! Oh, Craig Gordon! Fuck you, Kyle Lafferty! It's Gordon 1! Lafferty now, even though Lafferty has scored the day. Alright, it's 1-1. One, one. Fuck it, it's 1-1. One, one. I'll take that. It's a draw between Gordon and Lafferty. Alright, here we go. Counter by Barry McKay. Barry McKay trying to find Shanklin. Can he get past Ash Taylor? He can't. Barry McKay will chase this one down, and the keeper sends him the wrong way. Come on, it's Barry McKay. McKay looking for... Oh, he's been brought down there. It's not good. Lafferty. Lafferty spins around. He's looking for Donnelly. It's Ollie Shaw again. Oh, no, we've been done in. Lafferty, great save for Craig Gordon. Craig Gordon desperately wants that draw against Lafferty. That's a fantastic save, but we need to defend the corner. Remember, there's height in the box. We cannot allow them to get the cross in. We need to mark Kyle Lafferty, and it's going to be another corner by the looks of things. Right, defend this. Come on. I don't know why they're taking it short when their goal came from a corner into the box, but again, Kelly take it short. Who's this bald guy? Don't let him get the cross. Oh, my God, he's got past us, but Kingsley... Steps in, and now we're on the counter. Kingsley out to Ginelli. What can Ginelli do? Ginelli, oh, it's fucking shite. He can't do nothing. Horrible ball. Ball up to Ginelli. That's brilliant. Oh, he's through. Josh Ginelli's through. Has he got the pace? He has got the pace. Josh Ginelli, brilliant. That's what we want. When you're that quick, it doesn't matter if you're shite. You can put the ball in the back of the neck. Thankfully for us, Josh Ginelli actually has some ability. He actually has some end product, unlike Fashion Sakala. But I'm not going to bury Fashion Sakala because I'm sure when we play Rangers, he'll probably bury us. But right now, we're the ones in the bury, and it's Josh Ginelli with our second goal of the game. He gets us into the lead, and now all we have to do is hold on. I say it like it's simple. Considering we can see about, what, 10 goals a game, it's not simple, but we've got ourselves in a winning position. All right, let's get the fresh legs onto the pitch. Kilmarnock are bringing on Nunu for Lafferty. We're bringing on Forrest Civic. Boys and rolls as we try and see out the game here with 15 minutes remaining. Throw back to Cadillac. Cadillac to Taylor. Cadillac sounds like he should be playing for AC Milan or something. He doesn't sound like a, a Kilmarnock player. Hopefully he doesn't play like a, an AC Milan player though. Kilmarnock still on the ball. Ball played up. Number two. It's, it's Cad Why is Cad Oh no, he's in an advanced row. Oh no, that's a free kick. Has to be a free kick. Craig Gordon comes out though and makes the save. Brilliant for Gordon. That's fantastic. But why the fuck was Craig Halkett murdered and not given anything in the box? I don't understand that. Right, Grant. Here we go. Grant to Boyce. Both guys slow as fuck, but we need something to happen here. It's Liam Boyce. Liam Boyce. Still Boyce. Looking for options. He finds Toby Civic. Civic. Forrest. It's Benjamin. Step overs. Benjamin to Boyce. It's Liam Boyce, and it's well over. Looks like we have an injury here. I think it's Nunu. He just got brought on, and he's down already. So that doesn't look good for Kelly. They might be forced into making another change here. Wait, six and a half minutes to go. I hope the scoreline doesn't change, though. That's that's one change I do not want, unless we're adding to it. I mean, if we're going to make it 3-1, then by all means change it. It's a ball launched up. 
Craig Gordon could have grabbed it, but instead he lets it go out and waste some time. We'll take that. Craig Gordon then takes the short goal kick. Ball out to Sebic. Sebic takes it in front of him. Sebic looking for Forrest. Forrest trying to get the better of Mick Roney, but nah, he's not making that happen. And now Kelly will look to try and get an equalizer. on. They are pushing. But that's a good challenge for Cammy Devlin. Now Benjamin. Fuck's sake, that's shite for Benjamin. We needed a simple pass there, and the, the counter was definitely on, but not happening. Right, Taylor to Donnelly. Ah, Donnelly, poor ball, intercepted by Civic. Forrest now holds on to it. Ball trying to find... So oh, no, we gave it away again here. No! Craig Gordon with another big save! Holy shit! We've criticised him a lot, but he's helped us massively today. He's been a hero for us in this game, and he could be the main reason why we come away with three points if we do, in fact, hold on, boys, out to Sebic. Sebic with a horrendous pass, but that should do it. It's going to do it. The pass won't matter. Thank God for that. We're finished here in Ayrshire. It is Kilmarnock 1, Hearts 2. That's a massive victory for us. It was a tight game. It was a close game. But in the end, normally we lose these close games. Normally, we do not come away with a win, but today... We did, so hopefully things are changing, but some things never change. Hibs lost to St. Johnston, the Hibbies are shit. So that, that remains a fact, but happy with that performance, I guess. Yeah, you see Kingsley scores and Hearts' 2-1 win over Kelly, and that won't move us up the league table ever so slightly. I'm hope Well, I hope not slightly, I hope it moves us up quite a few places, to be fair, but I mean, the league table is pretty tight at the moment, so 1-1... One -win. We're in a place, a position where one win could like potentially move you up like three or four spots. Okay, that win wasn't enough to take us into the top six, but it has us on the verge of the top six. And if we next time out can defeat Hibernian in the Edinburgh Derby, then we give ourselves a real opportunity of in fact moving into the top six and hopefully start to begin closing down Rangers. At the moment, we're 16 points behind them. We haven't been great in terms of results, but Rangers have been. So the gap, I think, is even more than you'd expect it to be. Celtic at the moment, you can see they're struggling. They've only got 16 points, and we're four points behind Celtic. So I still believe that if we start getting results, if we can start turning these good performances into good victories, then I think we can challenge at the top. I'm not saying we're going to win it, but I think we can run them close. But at the moment, Rangers are running away with it, and we need them to run out of steam. We need them to start slowing up and dropping points. So hopefully they can lose. Next time they take on Kilmarnock. There are Ibrox. I don't expect them to lose that. But here's hoping. Big Kyle Lafferty can smash them. And um, yeah, unlike Craig Gordon, he can actually beat the Rangers goalkeeper. So guys, that's going to do it. We'll catch you in the next one. Good win there. Disappointed to lose the opener against St Mirren, but we bounced back pretty well. We got the victory. We got the three points. And now, going into the next episode, massive games against Hibs, Dundee United and Aberdeen. What a trio of matches that is. And if we can come away with, let's say, seven points, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck it, I'll be greedy. Nine points, we want the nine. <laughs> we want the nine in a row, brother. So that's what I'm going to try and get. Nine points in a row, we'll see if we get it or not. But hopefully, we can have a good episode and we can start moving up the league table. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Till then, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.